Hey there guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to iMindBlocks. In today's video, I'm going to do my best to answer a question that I keep on getting asked, and that is, how much is Chia worth? So again and again, I keep on being asked, how much is Chia worth? How do I know what the value of this is? What is the point of mining it? How much would it be worth in the future, etc, etc, etc. So in this video, I'm going to try and answer that um, really for my kind of my own benefit and also share that uh, with you guys as well. So as some of you will know, Chia at the moment is not currently tradable. So what that means is that there is it's difficult to determine a price because there is no trading taking place. Therefore, there's no buyers or sellers directly. And then the pricing is not a market based price. So it's all based on guesstimates or estimates. And that's how we're going to determine the price going forward. Transactions will be enabled on May the 3rd. At that point, you can trade either directly via OTC or I'll expect some exchanges and marketplaces to take Chia on board and then trading will take place at that point and then obviously we'll have a market valuation. Before that happens, what we can do is kind of guesstimate what the price might be in the near future. We do that by um, using comparables. So investors and venture funds, venture capitalists, etc., they all use this kind of uh, method of comparables. Essentially, all you're doing is comparing similar projects or similar companies or similar establishments, taking what their known value is, and then moving that across or comparing it to the, the project that you want to value. So today, that's what we're going to be doing for Chia and then trying to get a, uh, a coin value uh, for Chia and also its market capitalization. So let's continue on with that. So there's a couple of things that we need to know. So on the Chia Explorer here, if we scroll down, one of the important things to know if we're going to be comparing is what the current token supply is. So you can see here total XEH, and it also includes a pre-farm. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but Chia has a pre-farm of just over 21 million coins. Um, and these are the coins that are kind of in general circulation. So there's like 21 million that are basically held by the foundation. Um, I'm going to be doing the calculation on all the coins that are available because that's what is currently available and the foundation will be making use of those coins at some point in the near future. So you could either compare the um, either to the full supply, which is the 21 million, or you could do it to a partial supply. So it's up to you how you determine it. I'm going to be doing it on a full supply. So that's the coin um, that could be in circulation. So the next thing we want to do is find a few other projects that are similar to Chia, um, and then we can use them for our comparison. So I've picked a couple from CoinMarketCap, and most of these I'm fairly familiar with. Um, so they're obviously not exactly the same as Chia, they've got slight differences. Some are better in some aspects, and some are completely different. But like I say, we're using this for, for a comparative basis. So if, for example, we've got Bitcoin HD here, we're taking a look at the market cap. So 27,459,189. Then we've got Burstcoin trading slightly higher market cap, 30,066,000. Um, just sort of looking back as well, if you go to the market cap, I just want to have a quick look at the kind of the peak market cap when it was kind of at its peak. So 174 million it is peak. That's just uh, worth mental noting. Then we have storage. Storage is slightly different because it's not just a proof of capacity uh, coin. There is a actual uh, data storage element involved in it. So I think that's why it trades at a significant um, higher valuation. So 512 million uh, for storage. Then we've got Sirecoin, 1.6 billion. And Filecoin, the big daddy, at the moment, 9.8 billion. So these are slightly different projects, but basically it's just gonna give us a comparative, something to um, work towards uh, in our valuation. So we've got five different projects, five different valuations. They're all based around hard drive mining to a degree. And you know that's what we're gonna be using for our comparison. So we've just uh, minimized that. And if we go to our Excel spreadsheet, I've just filled in some of the basics here. So here we have the name of the project, its current market capitalization, then we have the Chia coin supply, and then we've got a coin value. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the market cap of Burst, uh, sorry, Bitcoin HD, and then divide it by the Chia supply, and that will give us a coin value. So what this is allowing us to see is that if 
uh, Chia was trading at the same market cap as Bitcoin HD, how much the, the value of each coin would be. So let's just do that very quickly. So we're just taking the market cap and we're dividing it by the coin value. So you can see for Bitcoin HD, if Chia trades at the same market capitalization as Bitcoin HD, we're going to have a coin, coin value of $1.28. Slightly more for if it trades at the comparable to Burst Coin. And then a lot more as obviously the price goes up. So here we have some values. So really what we're looking at is on the low end, Chia, if it trades at a comparable to, to Bitcoin, HD or Burst Coin, we're looking at a dollar uh, per token. Um, obviously not very much. I think that'll be uh, quite a massive disappointment for a lot of people. Then in the mid range, it's about $24 and then another higher end, 75 and then absolute top end, $460. So what I've done uh, further down is I've just taken those coins and I've just averaged them by the five different projects to give us an average. So of, and that gives us $112 on an average basis. So let's just take a look at, um, you know, what that might mean in terms of earnings. So if we have 10 plots and it roughly is one terabyte worth of data, and let's just say we're going to go for that middle sort of section. And Chia is changing, exchanging for $24. So if you've just got a one terabyte set of plots, you're going to be earning around about 10 bucks per month. But, um, you know, just one terabyte is quite a small amount of space. I think anyone could kind of put up that and add it to the network and that will earn you 10 bucks a month. Obviously, the more capacity you got, the more earnings you'll have per month. So just going back to the spreadsheet, what I think Chia might actually be worth. So we've got some comparables. We know what the other participants are doing in the market. And there's lots of other factors that you need to consider as well to determine the price. You have to consider, you know, the other users that are on the network, the miners that are going to be on the network, social interactions, the buzz, the hype, the branding. All of these kind of factors come into play and that obviously is going to determine our price when the markets go live on May the 3rd. So personally for me, I think we're going to be trading not so close to the lower end of 30 million and not so close to the mid to higher end. I think we'll be well off that. I personally believe that Chia upon launch will probably be in the million, uh, sorry, 100 million to 200 million market cap range something like that. So if I just kind of copy these numbers, uh, we'll just do it here and here, for example. So let's say Chia has a 100 million market cap. Whoops. Sorry, one extra digit. So if Chia has a 100 million market cap, we're looking at about $4.68 per token. I think it might be between one and 200 million. So for 200 million, we're looking at nine and 36. So these are the kind of the, I think the area that we might be, maybe closer to 200 million is obviously very difficult to determine, but I'm just kind of giving you some um, faults on the valuations, the, the kind of the typical numbers that we could see. The thing about this is it can go completely crazy. On these valuations, they are very much um, just kind of a best guess, a best estimate, and quite often, purely based on the market cycle and hype alone, uh, the market valuations can go to insane valuations. So I think we're gonna be probably starting off around about 200 million, um, but we could see significant increase from there as we go forward. Um, I'm not gonna say, any long-term numbers because we really just don't know at the moment um, and it's very difficult to determine as you look further and further out but around launch um, I wouldn't be surprised if we're looking um, around about the 200 million kind of mark okay guys so I'll leave it there uh, thanks very much for watching